You know, one thing about uh, the zebra mussels that I, you know, I think I should say is that they really never really got that concerned about zebra mussels until I started studying them a little bit more. You know, the zebra mussels have been around for quite a while and everybody kind of knows about them. But there's a lot of things that zebra mussels will do that I never realized that they would do. And, and I think, uh, you know, it makes it even scarier. You know, one of the things is that, you know, you have problems with uh, uh, our beaches, you know, where you, where you have a nice sand beach, and this is happening in different spots around the Great Lakes. Uh, these zebra mussels, the dead shells will actually wash up on the beach. Uh, and then you've got some that are decomposing, and uh, you get uh, infections of like E. coli bacteria. So they wind up closing the beach, and the, the shells are so sharp that if you try to walk on them with, you know, with bare feet, you'll cut your feet. And so there's things like that going on that are just really obnoxious that uh, people don't realize that could happen. And one of the other things uh, uh, is uh, what they're doing to some of our diving birds, like loons, for instance. Um, uh, with just within the last few years around the Great Lakes area, they've recovered about 9,000 dead loons who have died because of avian botulism, which is induced by the zebra mussels. What happens is the zebes, the zebes as I mentioned before, will eat that uh, green algae, but they'll leave blue-green algae. The blue-green algae then dies, sinks to the bottom, uh, and becomes infested with this, this uh, botulism. And the bait fish, like the gobies in the case of the Great Lakes, come along, eat some of the eat this bad algae, so to speak, and they themselves become infected, and then they get eaten by the loons and other diving birds, which die from botul avian botulism. So it's kind of a complex thing, but they figured out that that's what's causing it. And uh, so, you know, we get concerned when we find a dead loon around here, we're well, finding thousands of dead loons around the Great Lakes area that are dying from, from this avian botulism. And, uh, so there's, there's, you know, there's a number of issues like that that uh, you, know, you don't hear about, but are very serious problems that uh, we need to think about.